Okay, good evening my fellow traders. Thomas Saw here. Today is 1st November 2018. I am doing what we call a, 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 a live webinar, live market webinar to, uh, to update you the latest market happenings and whatever. Okay, so latest market news, strategies, volatility and things. Before we, before we go to the proper trade, proper, proper trading, uh, people say, well, Thomas, we are in a bad market. Uh, we are going to die. Uh, we all this. Is, in, relax. Uh, don't worry. If the fact, uh, if you tell me uh, you are suffering, yes, you, if you are going to have a major account go being killed, that means you are caught in the wrong position. I told you already hmm. for the last several month, uh, nine months already, you come on nine months already or one year or so, one year coming to one year already, your trading position must be as short as possible. We are now looking at intra-week, intra-month tradings for shares. If indexes and anything else, we are looking to do maybe up to 90-day cycle. We do not hold, most of your trades will not hold more than 90 days. And you should have a balanced portfolio. I mean, what, what I mean by balanced portfolio? That means that you must 30% bullish, 13% bearish, 40% neutral. That was my standard thing before the recent market collapse here okay they have been preaching for a longest time okay okay uh, so if you have follow my advice uh you should not be a big problem because your thomas my bad my bull lose money then your bears will make money okay now any questions about the big picture of market first before we start we are we are technically speaking okay we are in a bullish market cycle we are in a bullish market cycle. Thomas, are you sure? I guarantee it. Because it depends. Do you do, 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 want to say that we have a bad recession now, market collapsing, uh, market is dying, etc., etc. All the all the hysteria and, and, and panic fear. First, look at the longer term chart. The last the last major bear we have uh, was in 2009. Okay? So let me show you something so you understand better. Okay, so if you if you go to 2009 here, look from here wait, again a minute. Now I look at this. We look at weekly candles. Right click it. Okay, I, I make it easier. Make it one Monday lah. Monday is less noisy. More, more the picture is more visible. Right click it. The Monday candles. For this one, we will do what I call a channel. Because it, this, because this is this one now uh, is what we call based on Monday candle. So we use the bottom candle approximately. So we uh, we cut we will cut away all the long tails. Then we will touch as many body as possible. See here here got one crack. And uh, one side you go on top here. Ah uh, see ah. Uh, uh. We do not do this because this is not reliable. Because on the basis of one candle or two candles, you cannot tell me form the trend. You see here, like, all these are we call the triple tops here, uh, ascending triple tops here, right here. If you look at this channel here, from 2009 until now, where are we now? Bro, my fellow traders, we are stuck, we still in, uh, we still in the bullish China. Thomas, how are you sure? I know, don't mm. tell me that you are panicked because of one month. For me, very simple. If you cannot break a six months low, any meaning now? This candle is a candle price value here. The candle price value here is approximately this candle here. Is, wait, I give a minute. This candle here is 300, 333. Excuse me, it's about 11 percent. 11 percent to me, uh, if you look at the big, bigger picture of life, uh, is not is not there. Is yes, it's a big candle, but next candle we're doing. The next, what's the current candle doing now? The current candle now is here, there. Eh. It's not making a new low, there. Eh. Even 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 you make a new low, I should not panic. I think I mentioned to some of you before. For me to consider to have what you call in a really bearish market mood, okay, okay, not a technical correction, uh, must drop below two thousand five hundred, lah. Correct, correct. Uh, Gary, correct. I told you, correct. A few weeks ago, correct. Two thousand five hundred, correct. Correct. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, see, uh, I'm sure. Why, why, why two thousand five hundred? Look at this. 
cannot even I cannot even be a six months low. Ay, please ah, and you you cry doom and doom, doom and gloom. Ayo. So as it is now, as far as I see, we just have a minor technical correction. I would use I hate. I know Thomas three hundred points is not bad. Three hundred points is bad. I uh, still minor technical correction. Look at it. Okay. For me, let me check for you. Let me make it easier for you to understand better. Okay, I divide the channel in in in. in I divide the channel into four sub channel. Excuse me. Look, if you look at the four sub channel, so the bottom part is still what we call the the channel, the bullish, the long term channel bullish support level crack. Where are we now? Hit hit the fifty percent channel and bounce back. Now trading uh, at, at the seventy five percent bullish channel. Uh. So are we in the, in the bear mode? Yes, you are in a bad mode if you trade intra month, intra month, intra quarterly. Yes, if 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 you have bought the shares at all time high. Yes, for those people who are making money but refuse to to lose money. Ah, uh, that is a bearish mode. And this type of people, this type of comments, um, to me, ah, uh, is what I call noise. You cannot accept because you you are coming to a eight nine year eight year ten year China bullish China. Therefore, it means you must continue for the next ten twenty years. You are, every everything you buy must be able to make a new high. It's not true. Well, okay, when I say a bearish China and uh, bullish China, uh, I'm not referring to the economy. Uh. economy is not reflected in the indexes and the S and the stock market. Uh. Let me share to you something. A recent article came out. We re uh, reinforced. Which I sent up to the uh, sent up to my students and uh, no sent to uh, post out the Facebook is that out of the S and P 500, which I consider the bluest of the top five bluest bluest blue chip company in America, more than 50% are are trading uh, below 20 20% 20% 20 below the all time high leh. Even after the market correction is 11% here leh. Then uh, at least 30% uh, of the 30% of the S&P 500 blue chips are uh, are trading at 50% from their all-time high. Leh. Okay, so there is a major divergence going on. So majority of the S&P 500, uh, 50% of it, I will say more than 50% of S&P 500 is performing worse than the index performance numbers. Okay. Me, majority means majority mean not more than fifty percent. Say fifty percent uh, is more than twenty percent, and the current market drop is only what? The current market drop uh, is from all time uh, is about what two hundred? Okay, maybe two hundred points. It's less than eight percent. Uh. Currently, the current market price now from the all time high price here. Yeah. All time price here. Give me a minute. Let me draw a nine up for you. Can see you see better. All time price uh, is almost three, uh, just under two thousand nine hundred fifty there. And what what and what price we're trading now? You see, ah, two thousand basically two hundred and thirty points from the all-time high, leh. So do not be taken by the market noise, by the hype, and all your all the people wimping and crying. Those people wimping and wimping about their losing money, whatever is, are not traders, are not investors. Value investor people who hold long term, ah, this is just only in the biggest place, in the biggest place of investment, ah, is just a glitch. Any questions about the market? Any questions about the market now? About the mainstream? I use S and P 500, not Dow Jones, because Dow Jones is only 30 companies. One company can badly it, it can be badly affected. The rest, even S and P 500 now, there is about five percent, or less about about eight percent, about five less than ten percent of the companies is keeping the index afloat at a higher level. Uh, Pavin, any questions?
Okay, any questions? Uh, please ask. So, nothing to panic about. Look at big picture. You don't see the read newspaper. Hear your friend uh, posting uh, Facebook messages say crying this. We are biggest one. Yeah, it just need a glitch at this point in time. You should be concerned if the thing drop below 2,600. The only thing I when you say, when you say a bad move, uh, is that we drop below 2,500 points level. Any questions? No questions? Let me off this one and reset a new step to the front back.